All right. The name of the name of this stream is going to be not your dad's fable, your grandpa's fable. <laughs> Cuz that's what this is. I'm I'm positive that if I type fable in here, I will not be able to get the fable that I'm playing. I just won't. It won't know. There's no way Twitch knows what this is. None. Yeah, it just has it just has the fable that everyone would be thinking of if you if you said fable, it's it's going to be the one that everyone thinks of where all where the beetles are all dead and you can come out of the woods now. <laughs> That's um you know because I don't want anybody who actually knows the game to come in. Um the other thing I could do is say, let's play Fable. Oh, God. I think the year is 1922 that this game... 1922. Yeah, this game was released in 1922. Did you know? <laughs> Fable PC uh, adventure game. I'm going to type that. Let's see if that gets me what it is. Uh, Fable, 1996. All right. That is definitely going to be enough. We'll say Fable 1996. Yeah, it came out in 1922. <laughs> they released it really early. I don't know if you've heard. Okay. All right. Fable time. Fable. Take it away, Fable. This game's configuration file is literally two entries. There is no windowed mode. This game doesn't understand windowed mode. You can't do it. And I hope the volume's okay. If it's not, please tell me now. Like now, now, so that I can change it. Because I can't, like I said, I can't alt tab this. So if the volume at any point seems like it's too high and it needs to go down, I need to know ASAP. But I'm going to stay quiet for the rest of the intro. Oh, I have to choose the intro. Okay, here's the intro. In a faraway land. In a world lost to the mystery and wonders of strange beings and magical creatures came the dawn of evil deception and betrayal. No, no it is not. <laughs> the Mecubars were a race of astral beings like luminous orbs, who had come to the world of Balkain to create a civilization filled with beauty, wisdom, and absolute power to rule and control all worlds with a sacred knowledge in all the hidden mysteries of the Ancient One. It was on this dark winter night that four conspirators were condemned to rule the destiny and eternal damnation of the people of Balkay. If I remember the legend correctly, there was a young priest in the cult of Mekubars. Ishmael was the only one to really know the secret to the great powers of them. Driven by his own jealous ambition and greed, Ishmael set out to mastermind a treasonous plot that would radically change an apparently simple course in Balkanian history. To deceive the Mekubars was one thing, and in its measure a very noble course for the Balkanians. But to betray your own people is quite another. Perhaps the conspirators had overestimated their strength, they had certainly underestimated the vigilance of the Mechibars. The consequences of their failure was critical, and the retribution of the Mechibars was cruel and harsh. The most fateful consequence was the unleashing of the violent anger of the Mechibars, causing severe cataclysms. The planet was torn apart into four separate lands, where in each would reign the dominion of ice, mist, water, and fire. <laughs> the four conspirators were sentenced to exile in the four different lands, where they would rule as beastly demigods 
to assure the eternal damnation and terror on the hopeless people of Belki. Ishmael was the only one to escape the wrath of the Mekubas. His whereabouts to this day are unknown. The adventure in which you are about to participate is the story of a young hero named Quickthorpe, who unknowingly sets out on a journey into a weird world born out of the mind of one very sick man. It is a fable in one way, but in a trick of the tale, it's a strange trip through the lost world of Balkane. That was supposed to be an H, by the way. It's not hundreds of years later. It's it's hundreds. <clears throat> the village of Balkane. And that's Fable. Well, it's the introduction, at least. When I hit new game, we are going to jump right in. I won't have any moment. But as I said before, yes, welcome Welcome YouTube, welcome everyone, one and all, to Fable. Fable is a game that I played when I was young that is originally why I was so extremely excited for Fable on the Xbox. And then I got Fable on the Xbox. And it was not this. <laughs> um, this is a... Uh, this is an experience. Um, for those who know me, you will probably catch things that I have been quoting that you've never known before um, out of this game. Uh, there are lines and quick th that Quickthorpe does that I, I like to use um, that no one's ever really understood <laughs> because nobody knows this game. So without further ado, let's get started on our adventure with Quickthorpe. So this is it, is it? I'm afraid it's true, Quickthorpe, and I'm sad to see you go. I will be able to turn on subtitles after this conversation. So if you're concerned about subtitles, don't be. They will appear once this conversation is over. You don't think there's been some mistake, do you? I've been asking myself the same question. But the fact of the matter is that all the other village people are either too busy or just not interested. If you persevere and remember at all times to keep your mind pure and your heart true, I believe you will succeed. Yes, this is a point-and-click adventure game. Sounds great, but what am I supposed to do? The village has chosen you, Quickthorpe, to go out to the far reaches of these cursed lands and seek out the four beasts who are guarding the lost jewels of Balkane. These jewels are the key to the future of our people. Once you have destroyed these beasts and recovered the jewels, our village will be free from their tyranny. But I don't know what these jewels look like. According to our village historian, there are four jewels. Each contains a special power which control the essential life forces of Balkane. Yeah. The this emerald pretty contains funny the game. power of fertility and spring. You should recognize it by its beautiful green color. The diamond, well, we all know what a diamond looks like. It represents eternity, apart from being a girl's best friend. Anyway, the diamond is said to hold the power of mist and rain. The sapphire is a deep, dark blue jewel containing the power of the water. Legend says that an ugly gorgon is keeping it at the bottom of the sea. Then there is the red ruby, which contains the power of fire and shadows. They're all out there somewhere. Now it's up to you to bring them back to me. How will I know where to find these jewels? You already know about the ice giant who is ruling the frozen lands just outside the walls of our village. We are pretty sure that he's got the emerald. Previous expeditions have reported there are probably only three other lands on Borcane. There is no doubt in my mind that the jewels are out there. One for each beast, and one beast in each land. I guess I shouldn't have moved it over to the right. I should have... Probably should have just left it up where it was. It'll be better next time. The, I've only got like an hour to play this, so we're not going to worry about trying to fix that for now. We're just going to keep going. And in the next next time I play it, I'll have moved it around a little bit and made it work before I get going. So. Do you have any last words of advice? Everyone has given you their blessings. As for myself, 
The talisman I now give you is not only a good luck charm, it will also protect you from spirits and other evil entities during your quest. I've had enough of this chit-chat. I'm going now. Give them hell, Quickthorpe. All right. So, like most point-and-click adventure games, we can look at stuff, we can use stuff, we can take stuff, and we can talk to things, to people. Now, you'll also notice that the, uh, it, my, my, uh, icon for my mouse is, like, flickering. There's not much I can do about that. So, hopefully it doesn't destroy your brain because i really can't do anything about it um unless there's some kind of fix for this game but like seriously nobody even knows what this is um but we got this medallion so i can right click on myself or the eyeball on myself gets into my inventory which i can actually move around and i can i can resize it if i want to and we can we can put it wherever we want which is kind of nice actually um that that's like a make it bigger make it smaller button um, and that's the close it button right there, right? So, but we can look at this medallion. It's the talisman that the village elder has given you. I don't see anything else of interest. And you can further examine things in this box when you have them there. Um, so like we can look at the village elder. The village elder is the most respected man in Belkane. And He's all in one. High priest, chief alchemist, and a pretty handy wagon mechanic. Pretty handy wagon mechanic. And then we can look at him further. I don't see anything else of interest. Which we got nothing else of interest. But we can talk to him if we want to. And, uh... I feel funny going out there dressed like this. It's a little too late for that. You must leave now. Oh. I'd like to thank my manager and producer for making all of this possible. Crazy kid. You better save it for later. Now go on. Get out of here. All right, well, uh, first we will go ahead and turn the dialogue text on. That way people who uh, are having issues with the, let's let's just do a good old LP one. It's been a while since I've done saves like that. Um, so we can also take Quick a look Thorpe's at the village. village. is the only truly civilized habitation on Balkane. He has spent all of his young life within these walls where true heroes are few and courage a rare resource. The village is old and has a history that has been shrouded in darkness and mystery since the disappearance of the Ancient Ones centuries ago. The foothills of the Skanka Range lie in the horizon marking the beginning of the end of the frozen lands. Gosh, it's really pretty out here. I wonder what it looked like in the old days when all this was covered with grass. Probably very green. Yeah. Probably. All right, so we will uh, head out. We got a world map here. We're going to head up to the old house first. But first, we must go to the bridge. So for a little while, I will know what to do. Um, that will probably... My memory will start to fade on what to do. And this will start to be more of an actual... That's one of the reasons why I have it marked as being a first playthrough on Twitch. Is because... In a way, this eventually will be, because I don't remember the later stages of the game very well. I do remember this first, this, like, first zone fairly well, but not a lot, a lot. This part of the river looks especially dangerous. Hmm, looks like there's a couple of stones sticking out of the water. The current is even stronger out here. Good day to you, sir. And a good day to you, young squirt. I don't mean to alarm you, but have you strayed a bit far from mummy and daddy? Well, I haven't gotten, well, very far I haven't gotten very far yet. Where are you off to, if you don't mind me asking? For starters, I'm off to waste the ice giant uh, and get back the emerald. Then I'll be heading out to some new lands for adventure. You know, going to new places, meeting interesting people, and then killing them. I guess I won't be home for lunch. It just so happens that as a hunter, I get about these lands quite a bit. And I must say, you've got your work cut out for you. This country's no cakewalk. And with all the hoodlums and freaks out there, you're going to attract a lot of attention. Especially dressed like that. I'll just have to take my chances. And as for dress sense, I can see Armani isn't your middle name. I guess we both look conspicuous. 
However, I have a weapon. He's got us there. What's on the other side of the bridge, huh? What's on the other side of the bridge? There's nothing but open country, some forest, and small game. It's not the best territory for hunting, but I do keep myself busy. Just the same, you better not stray too far. You could get lost. And so now let's say the ridiculous thing. Let's strip down to our skivvies and take a swim. Oh, I forgot. I can't swim. Which gives you that piece of information. You're good crazy. Enough. It's a good way to catch pneumonia and a one-way ticket to Casket Town. It's been great talking. Have a nice day. Alright, so, let's go ahead. Oh, no, cancel that. Uh, and let's save the game here. We'll just go ahead and override death time. Uh, for, for no reason at all. None. Um, we're just gonna go with, let's just walk across the bridge. How bad gonna be? I mean, like, you that know. The bridge doesn't look very sturdy. Oh, it's fine. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. It's that fine. is beyond the range of Quickthorpe's natural, natural abilities. abilities. Oh. Well, it wasn't fine. Um, so yeah, this game has death. And it shows you that very, very quickly. <laughs> Um, this is also one of those games where if Quickthorpe is not on the screen, which he's not on the screen, I have no way to get to anything. I can do nothing now. I have a mouse. He's standing there just like, well, that was... That was a thing. <laughs> All I can do... And it even asks you if you want to save when you try to quit. All I can do is exit out, go back to the title screen, and load up. So what you're supposed to do hmm, looks like there's a couple of stones sticking out of the water is really easy. I don't see anything else of interest. You go to the stones and you just walk to the stones. The stones won't break. And he just kind of jumps across. And now we're across. Come on, that sign is much too far away for me to read. That's odd. I didn't really expect to see anybody out here. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. It's cold out here. I wonder what the world looks like behind those mountains. Well, you might get to find out. I want to walk. I want to walk. Welder's place. I don't see anything else of interest. All right. Off to Welder's house. So I'm not entirely sure of this, but I am fairly certain. This game has a lot of red herring items. You can actually get large numbers of items in this game that don't matter. They, they do nothing. Um, and they never do anything other than just be things you can pick up. Um, and there are actually, I believe, several on this screen right here. Uh, <laughs> but I might be wrong. One or two of the items that we're going to get here might be useful. But I'm not... I don't think they are. There aren't many chili peppers left on this tree. Oh, there's like no chili peppers left on the tree. It's amazing that chili peppers can even grow in this climate. It seems these chili peppers have been tied to the branch of this dead tree for a reason. These are my chili peppers now. These are my chili peppers now. <laughs> A lantern is hanging from the porch of the old I, house. I maybe haven't been quoting it as much as I used to these days, but I used to technically quote that line all the time. I would pick up things and just be like, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, these are my remotes now. <laughs> I used to do it all the time. It's been a long time since I've done it, but yeah, it's... Th these are my chili peppers now is sets the tone for Quickthorpe in case you weren't getting it yet um, A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. So there's a nice broken lantern here. Quickthorpe cannot use the broken lantern in this manner Quickthorpe takes the lantern without even asking There's a doorbell I can ring to see if anyone's home. It looks like it's in good working order. Okay, so hold on now. It's a cat. Yuck. I hate cats. 
Yikes, I take that back. This cat's got evil eyes and a third one on its back. Whoops, that's not an eye. This old house looks spooky. I'll bet this is Welder's place. The chimney is probably the only reason this house is still standing. Um, I think that's everything to examine. Oh, there's a cellar door. I could snoop around in the cellar without anyone finding out. There doesn't appear to be a lock on the door. I hope no one mistakes me for a burglar. I forgot about the cellar. Let's go in. Wow, it's like a dungeon down here. Well, well, what have we here? It looks like a bunch of old useless junk. Well, let's take it. I'm not interested in any of this junk. Oh. Hmm. This is an interesting object. What is it? This gold statuette is a very old and valuable object dating back to prehistoric times. Genuinely curious of that Worthy Kids video was based off this game specifically. The Worthy Kids video? I don't suppose anybody will notice that you've taken it. There's nothing else there but junk. Nothing else there but junk. Large empty bottles and barrels clutter the floor of the cellar. King getting the poison out. Oh, that! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I actually... I was actually getting the feeling of of this game, but I'm I'm like positive that this is not the only not the only a, a point and click adventure game that has uh, portraits like that. I actually would be willing to bet that some of the King's Quest games probably did it, but I'm not because that that felt like it was referencing King's Quest to me more than anything else, especially with the content, like because he's you know, he's a king. Um, There's a neatly coiled piece of rope on the ground. Looks like a strong piece of rope. All right. This could come in handy in the future. Certainly could. Large empty bottles and barrels clutter the floor of the cellar. This heavy chain has been used for detaining unwilling guests. Ooh, scary. So this is where she keeps her broom. I wonder if it flies. You look at the torch, a too. flaming torch makes the cellar look even more like a dungeon. Can we take the broom? Quickthorpe should not deprive Welder of her only broom. Oh. The Fair staircase enough. is the only entrance and exit to the cellar. Take it easy, men. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. If you're interested in seeing more of this, I will be posting this to the YouTube. So if you want to see the rest of what I do here. You can always check it out there later when you got time. All right, let's uh, let's attempt to uh, use the doorbell. There doesn't appear to be anyone home. Oh. There doesn't appear to be anyone home. That must be how I get into the house. You think? A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. Quickthorpe is not scared of ghosts. But he's going to have a hard time getting into the old house. Okay, I believe this is another this is another moment where we can just straight up die. Um, I think if we attempt to do anything other than the correct solution right now, we will die. So, I'm just going to tell you right now, if you remember, he said this will protect us from spirits and a couple other things. Um, this is, at the very least, the first use of this. You use the medallion with the ghost, and that makes the ghost go away. I don't know if we ever use the medallion again, <laughs> but we use it right there. It's a red hot chili pepper talisman. I don't see anything else of interest. It's the broken lantern from outside Welder's house. I don't see anything else of it. It's the rope you took from the cellar of Welder's house. A closer look reveals nothing. It is the precious gold statuette found in the cellar. I don't see anything else of interest. All right, so. She is very likely to know that we've been in her cellar. So let's be careful here. Because... 
don't want to die. Well, maybe we do, but there's another cat. Cripes, this place is crawling with cats. That explains the aroma. Hmm, it looks like a potpourri of leaves. These leaves are particularly nice to look at. And nice to have. Okay. Takes the leaves from the pot. <laughs> Cripes, this place is crawling with cats. Stay away from my kitty cat. Okay. No one is to touch my kitties. Hmm, there's a bed. At least she sleeps at night. I'd rather not fall asleep with her and that boiling kettle in the same room. It's fair enough. I'll bet these books are on black magic and devil worship. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. The old hag doesn't seem to mind me taking this book. The picture of an owl is hanging over Wilder's bed. I don't even want to know what's written on those pages. I'm afraid to look. I'm afraid to look. That is beyond the range of Quickthorpe's natural abilities. Why is he so rude to her? Uh, well, he's Quickthorpe. From the in here, I'd say the old <laughs> hag's stirring up a nasty brew. How does the saying go? Curiosity killed the cat? She's a known witch. That's like the only thing I can think Wilder of as to why... Keeps her essential cooking ingredients handy by the fireplace. I see she goes for powdered toenails and expensive cognac. I'd like to, but I won't be 21 until next May. There's a small rug lying on the floor. Unfortunately, the rug is not magic and will not fly. Oh. Wrong story. Damn. <laughs> Let's use the cauldron. Quickthorpe cannot use that. Okay. There's even a dead bat hanging here. There's even a dead bat hanging here. The old woman's name is Wilda. She is known to have certain powers. Ah. The old woman's name is Wilder. Why do you live alone out here in the frozen lands? Because out here there's no one to bother me, except for lost children like you. Speaking of lost children, what are you cooking in the pot? And my recipes are a secret. But I always have a pot boiling in case someone unexpected comes by for dinner. Yeah, he was thinking rudely about her. <laughs> I see you are such a frail child. Why don't you rest here a while so Welder can put some meat on those bones? After all, you'll need lots of strength if you want to kill the ice giant. I'd rather kiss your cat's third eye. That's not a problem. I can arrange that for you. Can you tell me how to kill the ice giant? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. But I will let you keep all the things you've stolen from me. Oh. Well, get it's ready for me to steal seeds. one more. A closer look reveals nothing more. Because I'm Quick taking thing. these bags, the this bag, bag of seeds. seeds. <laughs> I always do that. I want to save the game once more because we're gonna probably die. <laughs> My name is Quickthorpe and I'm off to kill the ice giant. Yeah, yeah, I know who you are, Mr. Big Hero. You know you'll never succeed in finding those jewels. How do you know these things? It's my job to know these things. It's what I do. You see, to some people, I'm a witch. But to others, I'm a fortune teller and a healer. Tell me, Quickthorpe, what am I to you? You're beautiful. Don't ever change. You're beautiful. Don't ever change. You little bastard. I'll fix you good for that. Wow, what was that? I'd like to try again. So I've always thought, this is, I believe, the only time in the game that this this will happen. That he'll be like, wow, what the heck? I'd like to try again. And then it reloads your last save. Um, I believe that this is literally the only time in the game that that actually happens. I think it's supposed to either be an introduction to the fact that you can die, or that was what they intended to do with all the death scenes and just didn't. <laughs> all right, so I think we're actually done here. I didn't remember the cellar, but now that I have remembered the cellar, I am pretty sure we're very much done here.
Um, so, yeah, we gotta walk. We have to go back to the bridge, which the hunter guy is gone. That's fine. Um, you can still die at the bridge. They skipped the little jumping scene for the next, every single time. If we ever go back to her house, it'll skip again. And let's head back to the village so that we can head that way. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Are you back so soon? Why don't you come up to my room? It's so warm and cozy. Alas, my little sparrow, the destiny of our people is resting in my hands. And though your soft words rip through my aching heart, I cannot, I must not be distracted. Oh, well, suit yourself, you little worm. And she's out of here. Quickthorpe's village. It really is such a sad and pathetic looking tree. Oh. But then it has been dead for hundreds of years. So now we can we can use the gate. There you are, Wenat. Please open the gates and let me back in. Quick thought, you should be ashamed of yourself. Now go away. I've changed my mind. I want to come back up to your warm and cozy room. Quick thought. Please go away. You're embarrassing me. And that's, I think, about all that happens. Let's try again. Let's, let's save. You never know with this game. There you are, Wenat. Please open the gates. Quick thought, you should be ashamed. I've changed my quick thought. Yeah, it's the same. All right. Gotta look, you know. You never know how many scenes you might get. You want to get all the scenes. <laughs> all right. So now we are headed this way. We can head to the edge of the forest or we could head to the frozen lake. Um, let's head to the lake. Lake could be fun. A piece of rope still remains tied to a pole that was once used to secure the boats to the shore. The knot on this rope looks pretty loose. Quickthorpe is now the proud owner of a short piece of rope. <laughs> I don't see anything else of interest. We now are the proud owner of a short piece of rope. <laughs> it's the piece of rope that you took by the frozen lake. A closer look reveals it's a bag of bird seeds, some old dry leaves from Welder's house. It's the Book of Runes from Welder's house. I don't see anything else of interest. I don't think that's a good idea. Get used to that one. I don't think that's a good idea. It We're looks just like the ones lot. I've seen in picture books. I'll bet it was a really nice boat in its day. It's crazy, but I feel as if this old boat were alive, as if it were trying to say something. This one's always been a little weird to me. If you attempt to use the boat... Quickthorpe cannot use the old boat. Besides, the lake is too frozen. Oh, not the boat. That's right. His chair. The, the large boat. chair with a fluffy rolled pillow looks like it might have seated a fat bottom princess. If you further examine, at last, my dear is. child, you have released me from this terrible prison. I did? I have been waiting for you for so long, and now that you're here, well, I'm not at all disappointed. Oh. You're putting me on. I can see right through you. <laughs> this is no time for silly jokes. Oh. I'm as serious as can be. Listen carefully now to my words. I know that you have been chosen by your people to seek out and destroy the terrible beasts who possess the lost jewels. For it is only the safe return of these jewels to your people, and the death of those four beasts that will bring back life and harmony to Balkan. However, things are not really as they seem. Balkan? The origins of this matter go far back to the time of the Ancient Ones. And if my intuition serves me well, I'd say that an old friend is up to some of his nasty old tricks again. An old friend? But who? What kind of creature are you? I am Simbali, the goddess of the lake, and the spirit of spring, all wrapped up into one hot little package. You're the first spirit I've ever met. In person, that is. Is that why you're green and transparent and glowing all over? Or have you recently visited Chernobyl? 
None of this is really important right now. What really matters is that I return you the favor for having healed this old boat and freeing my soul. That sounds like a good deal to me. What do you propose to do? What to do? That's a very good question. The problem is that I haven't a clue. I've got it. Take a small piece of my spirit, like in a little orb. That way I can come along with you. Oh, I'm so excited. Great, let's go. Not so fast, you eager beaver. Remember, this piece of me is only alone, so you'll have to bring it back. You can't expect me to always have my parts scattered all over. All right, well, let's go for the crazy one. Let's get naked and take a swim in the lake. You first. You know I'd love to. It would be just the thing to wake me up after this long sleep. It's frozen. But there is no time to waste. Your people are waiting on you. And frankly, so am I. I've had enough of talking to spirits for one day. All right, so now we can look at the... Let's look at the orb first. Cymbeline's little spirit is delicate and fragile, so please handle her with care. I like her. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> we now have Cymbeline's little spirit. This sensual form, standing before Quickthorpe, is none other than Cymbeline, the goddess of the forest. In the ancient times, Cymbeline was also known as the Spirit of Spring. Sure, the boat's nice, but check out the green lady. The lake is frozen to death. There aren't even any fish left. I really do like the autumn-colored leaves in this forest. All right. Got ourselves a pretty key item there. This must be the forest of Cymbeline, or I'm getting pretty darn close. There doesn't appear to be any more markings or indications. So here I am at the edge of the forest. Do I go in and face the dark unknown like a real man? Or do I skirt around like a sissy? Hmm. Sometimes a question just answers itself. Sure does. Clearly we have a uh, key person. He's a jolly looking character. I don't trust the look of this guy at all. Hmm. Tell me, sir, what are you doing here? I can tell from your smile that you're new to the forest's edge. If you wish to enter or go anywhere from here except back to where you came from, it's going to cost you. Personal belongings, valuable objects will do just fine. I presume that you are carrying something valuable. Oh, sure, I've got loads of stuff in my pockets. Then would you be so kind as to hand over your most precious piece? Would you accept an IOU payable on my return? I take payment in advance, and that's non-negotiable. Yeah. However, I do thank you for calling to my attention your possible return, dubious as that may be. It so happens that some unpleasant little creature made off with a beautiful necklace, which I hold dearly. If you should ever find this item and return it to me, I would be happy to work out some exchange in your favor. After all, I may be a thief, but I am foremost a gentleman. Neat duds. I mean, you are rather well-dressed, sir. I can afford to be. Now let's see what you have that may be of interest to me. Sorry, I'm flat broke. I'll come back some other time. By all means, as you wish. I am a man of leisure, and I have all the time you need. So, we actually can't go anywhere without paying him. If we attempt to go by, he just does this. Hold on there, Fast Freddy. Where are you off to in such a hurry? No place special. I'm just doing a little sightseeing in the forest. The forest is a dangerous place when you don't know your way. Thanks for your concern, but I'll be fine, really. And if we attempt to go by, he just does that? We can play this game all day if you like. I've got all the time you need. And we can't, we can't go anywhere. We can play this game. So we have to pay him. And if I recall correctly, you actually give him I don't think that's a good idea. This. I admire your enthusiasm, young man. But you have only to pay the toll if you wish to pass me. Oh, you have to choose give, right. There's a use and there's a give. 
Yes, this is quite a rare piece. It'll do just fine. I, I wish you a pleasant day. This one's born every minute. The remains of a broken wagon tells of a time when many once travelled along these roads. Hmm, what have we here? A lever of some sort? It doesn't seem to operate anything. I should save the pocket space for things I really need. I'm, that's fair. It's strange to see chopped wood piled up here along this path. That's not exactly... We can't just pick up anything I find along the way. I mean, you could! But okay, we can head into the forest now. So let's head into the forest. Uh, let's see. We could go to the Path of Sculptures. Why not? Go this way. Skirt around like a sissy. One can always expect to find a bird loitering around the statues in the park. He looks like an ordinary crow, if you ask me. A statue of a soldier in his final battle stands frozen in time. He still looks as if he were alive. A statue of a soldier in his final battle stands frozen in time. One can still see the look of fear in their faces. It's pretty grim. Pretty darn grim. Well, what we can face Something see. seems to be buried here under the snow. I'll be darned, it's an old rusty shield from one of these soldiers. It's really odd how it wasn't turned into stone, like everything else around here. Wow, this shield is heavy. And we're gonna take it. It's our shield now. Okie dokie. Look at this. There's a horribly large scar on the side of this tree. It appears to be an opening of sorts. That's not exactly what I had in mind. A closer look reveals that the tree is actually hollow. That's a really wide crack on the side of the tree. That's not exactly what I had in mind. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work. Well, yeah. All right. I am always concerned that every single person in this world might turn me into a newt or something. <laughs> Are you guarding the path or just killing time? Just between you and me, I'm killing time. But time is killing you. The jewels you seek aren't getting any closer. And this man is only becoming more powerful. What? How do you know about the jewels and who's Ishmael? Well now, it wouldn't be fair and sporting to tell you now, would it? I... I to mean, give you something like that for free would only be like stealing something from me in the end. After all, life's like that, you know. You're an odd-looking sort of fellow. It's a matter of opinion, my little friend. After all, everything's in the eye of the beholder. So tell me something I don't know. Did you know that you're close to the place where all fruits of all dreams come to bear? And death be nothing but a mere illusion of beauty. Did you know that you're nothing other than the seeker of a dream? What are you talking about? And that a dream be nothing more than a figment of your imagination. Till we meet again, my friend, and only then. A young sprig, which will one day grow into a beautiful tree, is all that remains of the mysterious dream. It's quite symbolic, isn't it? <laughs> it's a dead tree stump, all right. But then I never saw a tree stump that wasn't dead. I mean... Point. It looks like a lever of some sort. Wow, really? Wow, I must have triggered a secret lever mechanism. That one you've probably heard me say quite a bit if you've actually heard. I really like to talk about secret lever mechanisms. <laughs> I do it all the time. A magpie is busy arranging its nest. 
So I think we actually have our first little, our first little uh, puzzle right here. You might remember. It's a bag of bird seeds. We have a bag of bird seeds. We can use these bag of bird seeds with the magpie. The magpie will go up there. Well, what do you know? There's a necklace in this nest. That is beyond the ring. Quickthorpe takes the pearl necklace from the magpie's nest. The sack is completely empty now. Wow. I suppose an empty sack could always be useful. Eh, you never know. It's an empty sack. Wow. It's a pearl necklace. Wow. It's the pearl necklace you took from the magpie's nest. It's an empty... I don't see anything else of interest. I don't see anything else. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, I think I remember this. All right. So, we had better save. <laughs> the remains of another less fortunate traveler lies on the ground in eternal slumber. This guy's definitely out cold. The remains of another less fortunate traveler lie... This guy's in terrible condition. He's falling apart. A closer look reveals a shiny ring on the hand of the skeleton. Wow, that's a really fancy looking ring. We can take it. I better not wear the ring. I might lose it. Or worse yet, someone might rub me. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. So, I am going to show you, because of course... It's the beautiful shiny ring that was found on the skeleton in the hollow tree. I don't see anything else of interest. First thing you want to do, right? Why wouldn't I just put it on? Because now I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> that ring kills you. Congrats to Quickthorpe. Quickthorpe is now dead. It does, yes. A closer look reveals a shiny ring on the hand of the skeleton. I better not wear the ring. I might lose it. Or worse yet, someone might rub me. Exotic blue fruit bulbs lie in the inside of the hollow tree. These blue bulbs are the fruits from which dreams are made. What's happening? I feel so dizzy, sir. So when you touch these bulbs, they make you dizzy. We can currently do nothing that with the That is bulbs. beyond the range of Quickthorpe's natural abilities. The roots of this hollow tree are massive and spread deep into the ground. A large opening reveals the dark inside of a hollow tree. I forgot you just have to do walk to the opening. So we can do nothing with the bulbs for now. Nothing at all. But that ring is extremely important. We will need that. Uh, we head to the crossing now. So here's the crossing. Okay. A small path can be seen leading into the bushes. Ah. Well, we'll deal with that in a minute. Let's go ahead and save. Clearly nothing is about to happen. Why would I be saving? I mean, nothing's gonna happen. It's fine. What is that supposed to mean? I don't see anything else of interest. I don't know. What is it supposed to mean? What does it say? I guess that's the, the question, isn't it? Ah! Well, well, check this out, lads. A wayward soul, wandering through the forest all on his lonesome. 
He's a brave chap, he is. Uh, that's right. He's brave, all right. Uh, what are we gonna do with him, boss? I say we take him for everything he's got. Yeah, that's the ticket. Shut up, you morons. First, I want to know what he's doing out here. Then you can do what you want with him. What are you doing nosing around out here in this part of the forest? Come on now, out with it. Um... Uh. Uh, well, let's just try honesty. I'm on my way to kill the ice giant. How about that? I'm off to kill the ice giant. He's got a sense of humor, this one. Now give me your money or die. But I haven't got any money. Then you'll die. And we're dead. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he expected with that one, but... <laughs> Give me your money or die. But I don't have any money. Then you'll die. Well, well, oh, okay. Well. <laughs> I'm on my way. How now give me. And, you know, we can also, you know. Take a hike, you band of perverts. I like your spirit. Let's see how quick it can leave your body. At which time we also, also perish. You know. This is, this is just the, the way of things. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go ahead and try, well, well, uh, I shut up. What are you doing? Telling him that we're, you know. I'm off to see my grandmother. How about that? I'm off to see my grandmother. He's got a sense of humor, this one. Not really all that much different. Now give me your money or die. Would you settle for some sort of valuable object instead? You are a man who knows how to choose his words. Now let's see if you're also a man of action. All right, so now we can go into our inventory. We already have exactly what we need. We need to take the ring, not use it. Well, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> I think you know what I was getting at there, um, but. Uh... <laughs> Well, I, I in fact just put I'm it on. on. Now, would you set your? All right. Take the ring, and give it to the bandit leader. No, this is more like it. I knew. Oh. And the other two were like, "Oh well, fuck that. I'm out." He just killed our leader. Um. So You're not such a tough guy now. By the way, you can keep the ring. That's the knife he was going to kill me with. And we're going to take My it. first lethal weapon. I can't wait to try it out. For a I'll bet he thought he was real cool with that scarf tied round his head. We'll take that too. Quickthorpe takes the scarf from the dead bandit. I don't see anything else of interest. So there we go. We've survived our first true encounter in this game. It is the first thing that is actually like lethally attempting to kill us. So let's walk to the bushy path because clearly we'd like to find more things. That's a big friggin' boulder. That's a big friggin' boulder. <laughs> I wonder what that hole in the cliff is about. That hole is really suspicious looking. Hmm. It looks like the way into a cave. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I mean, how, how dangerous could it possibly be? It's, I'm sure it's fine. Oh. You want oh. to play games? Uh, okay. Uh, no. No, I'm good. We're dead. <laughs> so, I believe you can actually try to climb. Yeah, if you just try to climb to the small hole, he comes out again and just bonks you on the head and you die again.
No, not the introduction. Story in. What you actually want to do is come over here to these bushes. A small cove behind the bushes makes for a perfect little hideaway. And use them. Fum, I smell the blood of a Baltanian. And then he wanders off. And now we want to save our game because I'm not positive as to whether or not this is going to work for us. But we have a big freaking boulder here. Rats! Now there's a huge boulder block in the entrance. I don't see anything else of interest. It is much too heavy for Quickthorpe to move. I don't see the point in taking that. But there's a nice small hole up here, which we can, you know, climb on up and through. And so now here we are. Let's go see what's in that chest. It appears to be locked shut. Quickthorpe is not able to do that. I believe you do what you might think you it's can do with this. It's the knife that Quickthorpe stole from the dead bandit. I believe we actually want to take the knife and use that it with the That doesn't do chest. anything. That doesn't do anything. Oh, it doesn't? I thought that was how you got into the chest. I guess I'm wrong. I'm not carrying that around with me. Oh, okay. You know, I thought I'd find it. He would take it with him and just be like, alright, I'll just take it. I'll bet that's where he cooks the poor buggers. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. Oh, I remember what you do here. I actually remember what you do. Let's look at the barrel first. It's filled with murky green liquid. Yuck! Yuck! It looks like one of those poor suckers died with more than just their boots on. Can we take if it, it didn't save the other guy, it's not going to help me one bit. I mean, fair enough, right? Why weigh yourself down, huh? That doesn't scare me at all. Oh. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. A bunch of skulls are piled up in front of what appears to be an opening to a dark passage. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. However, there's a pillow! The ogre's old straw pillow is not very comfortable, but it sure is functional. He hides his keys. This ogre is not as dumb as he looks. Looks like an ordinary key. He won't miss this key. He won't miss this key. It's the key found in the ogre's cave. Upon opening the chest, Quickthorpe finds three flasks. Each of the flasks contain a flammable liquid known as oil. It looks like this flask is filled with oil. Who knows, this flask of oil could be useful. I'd better be careful with this stuff. That was the last one. Sure was. A bunch of skulls are piled up in front of what appears to be an opening to a dark passage. I remember, Ray. Right? There's some nice sunshine coming in through there. I don't see anything else of interest. Can he get back up? Okay, he can. I don't think we want to go back. I believe what we want to do is go to the dark opening. Takes us here, and this, you know, real scare we. Railway, railway scare we. Literally can't even do anything on this screen, actually. I can't walk. I can't do nothing other than to go backwards or go into my inventory. The answer... It's the spirit of Cymbeline. ...is to use the Cymbeline orb, which lights up the room. It looks like some dirt has been tossed around down here. It's a piece of clay tablet. That is beyond... Taking bits and pieces and putting them together is the secret to good detective work. Sure is. 
now we can walk to the well. However, we cannot do any... Oh, because I haven't been to the well yet. Yeah, good point. It looks like someone's been digging around down here. It's a piece of clay tablet. Taking bits and pieces and putting them together is a... All right, and so now we it's have... It's a piece of clay tablet with inscriptions of a magic incantation. It's a piece of clay tablet with inscriptions of a magic incantation. Oh the my two pieces gosh. go together perfectly. Who would have thought? And then you can actually put them, I believe, right there. That doesn't do anything. Oh. That doesn't do anything. Never mind then. I'm dumb. I don't think that's a good idea. The ancient tablet with its two pieces reunited displays some mysterious inscriptions. Oh, move, would you? There's a piece of grass there too. But we're going to look at this inscription. An ancient plaque with runic inscriptions has been placed on the wall. Someone's been down here before and marked this spot, but I can't for the life of me make out what it says. That doesn't do anything. Oh. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Oh. It's an old rusty battle shield. Do you use the scarf with the rusty shield? Yes. You can't believe it. All that it needed was a little cleaning and polishing. Now it's so bright, you can see yourself. Nice. It's the polished and shiny version of the old rusty battle shield. There's a small sprig of spring grass growing here. This piece of grass in the Well of Life symbolizes the hidden eternal spring in Balkane. I can't pull it out. The roots must be stuck deep in the ground. Um... I don't know why I'd want it. <laughs> this piece of grass in the Well of Life. An ancient plaque with runic inscriptions has been placed on the wall. Um, Someone's been down here before and marked this spot, but I can't for the life of me make out what it says. And I don't know what it's about or what it says. I have no idea. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Okay, well, that doesn't do anything. It's an empty sack. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, there's a piece of grass. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember if that does anything or matters at all. Honestly. <laughs> no clue. We're going to go out of here, though. I think that's everything there. And now we're going to go back, which I know seems like I'm going the same way he did, but it's fine. He's not back. And he's still dead. So there's that. Um, Let's see. Let's go this way. I think this way will let me go to the well. No. That must be this way. A rabbit. That's a darn cute little rabbit. I don't see anything else of interest. I don't see anything else of it. So that's where the little critter lives. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. An old bucket that was once used to fetch water from the well. A closer look reveals nothing more. He doesn't even talk about taking the well, the bucket. You just take it. It's all right. There you go. I've seen this guy before. Sure have. It's the hunter, and it looks like he's been busy. What a surprise. I didn't expect to see you here. I've been chasing this darn rabbit all over creation. You won't see him hopping about anymore. Oh. Do you know where I can find the ice giant? Are you still after the ice giant, look, son? I've spent my life hunting and exploring this territory, and I've never seen an ice giant. Like I told you, the only thing out here is poultry game and some low-life criminals. Personally, I think it's all a bunch of superstitious nonsense. Do you know if there's any water left in the well? Not one drop. 
I found that out for sure when my little boy fell into the darn thing. By the way, if you happen to see the little critter out here somewhere, please tell him to run along home before I set a fire to his rear end. Sorry, but I have to go now. Surprisingly, the spool above the well is still in good working order. I don't see anything else of interest. So, we can actually utilize this if we want to, to get it's a the faster rope route. Took from the cellar of Welder's house. We can take our rope and use it with the spool. I never cease to amaze myself. And now we have... I don't see anything else of interest. ...the rope there. It's the old bucket Quickthorpe found outside the well. I don't see anything else of interest. Now we can use the rope if we want to. Which lets us come back down here. Now we're back in the well. Um, and then Quickthorpe does actually have the ability to climb the rope. He does it quite well. I don't remember if there's anything to do with this rabbit. I don't think so. I think he's just there. Is this your necklace? I'm not sure, but is this the necklace you've been looking for? Why, blow me down and call me Timber. So it is. This is good fortune indeed. As promised, I take great pleasure in offering you these gloves in return. Thank you, sir, but a pair of gloves? There's fair exchange, but this is highway robbery. I realize that you may not see any value in these gloves, but it is often the most insignificant things that become the most important means to achieving the fruits of your dreams. Of course, they'll also keep your hands warm. That's the most deeply profound thing anyone has ever said to me. Thank you. It was <laughs> nothing, really. It's a pair of gloves from the well-dressed gentleman. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. These fit just right. And so now we're wearing gloves. Hooray! This is just to show what a close-up of a forest path looks like. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> if you examine the path, that's what he says. It's like this is just to show it. That's all this is for. So, now that we have gloves on... We want to go past the past this and we want to go to the opening in the tree and head down here and we want to take I got the fruit these gloves must have protected me from the dizzy effects of the poison I got the fruit these I got the fruit these gloves must we're gonna take all of them I got the fruit I got the fruit Wow, it feels like everything. I didn't want to use them. I wanted to get all of the... I wanted to get all of them. I got the fruit. Thank you. These gloves must have protected... There we go. I don't know if we need all of them. You might, in fact, only need one. These blue bulbs are the fruits from which dreams are made. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. But I just take them all. Remember when I said that your inventory, you get a lot of red herring items? Um, yeah. Yeah, that taking all six of the fruits is one of those kinds of red herring items. We, we don't need all six. I think we only need one, maybe two. All right. Off to the ravine. Nothing surprises me anymore. Not even you. His eyes. They're almost human. What are you looking at? Nothing, really. Well, it's your face. Yeah, I got a face, so what about it? Come to think of it, it suits you. You must be great at poker. Cool. Now get lost. Huh. I don't feel like talking to anyone or anything right now. I don't feel like talking to anyone or anything right now. Oh. In case you hadn't noticed, there's no way through here. 
Here in the ravine, the rocks have eyes, ears, and brains. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. An enchanted palace can be seen on the horizon. It's the Book of Runes from Welder's house. I don't see anything else of it. I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm not entirely the ancient sure. Tablet with its two pieces reunited displays some mysterious inscriptions. A closer look shows that these inscriptions are actually a harmonic incantation or spell that can conjure the primordial forces of the earth to create minor earthquakes. Apparently that's how you're supposed to know that. If we use this ancient clay tablet By the tablet power here, of the first sun and seventh moon, I command the lands to make way for the mighty Quickthorpe. That opens the way. And now we can go on through. Every old castle has its gargoyles. Every old castle has its gargoyles. little mortal that's been out and about threatening to kill me. I'm extremely amused. Let's see what you can pull out of your little tutu before I ice you. I'll have to think about this one for a minute or two. I don't think we have everything we need. I know we have the first key to the puzzle, but we don't have the second. And I don't remember where to get it. He must be the ice giant. There's no doubt about it. Quickthorpe is right. He is now standing face to face, or nearly so, with Corith, the abominable ice giant. We're gonna run. Go run away. Go, go, go run. Go run away. Um. Damn, where do you get. Hmm. I've missed something. It's hard to see what's written with all that snow and ice covering the letters. Those strange markings. I've seen them before, but I don't know what they mean. I don't see anything else of interest. I don't know what they mean either. It's the Book of Runes from Welder's House. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, well, guess what, Quickdorp? According to the Book of Runes, this is the Well of Life. I wonder what the connection is. According to the Book of Runes, this is the Well of Life. I wonder what the connection is. Me too. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Someone's been down here before and marked this spot, but I can't for the life of me make out what it says. That's not exactly what I'd rather save the pocket space for things I'll really need. Things I'll really need. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, yeah, I want to put it down, but I guess... I wonder, can I use the knife on the piece of grass? That's just my luck. I've got no rolling papers on me. Okay, I got the grass of life. 
not sure what it's for. It's the broken lantern from outside Welder's house. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. What do you make out of all this, Cymbeline? Oh. I sense a very powerful vibration. Something important has happened here. I have a vague memory. Yes, it's coming back to me now. This is an old well that was used long ago. During the time of the Mecubars to transport slaves to freedom. I think there were some tunnels connecting all through here that were used as transport routes. But who were these Mecubars and what's all this about slaves? As I remember, it was a long time ago. The Mecubars were a race of astral beings with a very advanced technology. They came to our little planet, don't ask me how, and enslaved all the humans. They weren't all that bad as far as superior races go. But the humans didn't take to the fact that they were just being used as pawns in some big game of the Mecubars. Anyway, a small group tried to get together, thinking if they could just get hold of the Mecubars' secret technology, then the humans could restore their freedom. So what happened? Did they find the Mecubars' secret technology? Things didn't really turn out as they had hoped for. Something must have gone wrong, because there was a terrible cataclysm shortly after. Things just blew up everywhere. Since that time, our lovely planet has been under the control of those evil beasts, who have been destroying what's left of the bits and pieces of our world. I'm not certain, but I feel that there's a connection between those beasts and what happened with the Mecubars hundreds of years ago. Nobody ever told me anything about this. I thought I was just supposed to get some jewels and kill a few deadbeats along the way. That's just the point. There's something terribly abnormal about all of this. I can't put my finger on it, but I've got a good idea that someone is up to some of his old tricks again. I can't keep talking. It's taking too much energy. But I'm still here with you, so hang in there. I think we want to make sure we take her spirit with us before we leave, too. That doesn't do anything. It looks like something would go in into it, right? But I don't think anything does. I mean, maybe it does? I'm not sure. It does look like you would put something in there. don't remember second piece of the puzzle for this bad guy you put the brute blue fruit in the that doesn't stack. do anything no we can put it in that the doesn't do anything okay we can't Um, okay, so we have the oil that we need, but what we don't have is, I guess we should try talking to her here. Oh, I can't. What we don't have is a way to... I'll bet that's where he cooks the poor buggers. I don't see anything else of interest. I'd rather save the pocket space for things I'll really, really need. need. Yeah. We don't have a way to burn him. We need our burninator. We have the first piece of the puzzle, um, which is the oil, actually. Um, but we don't have a way to light him, light him up. I don't think. You want a fruit? I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, me neither. Hmm. 
I'm just not sure where I missed something. Let's give him a vote. Sure, he'll want this. Please don't insult me with that. I'll need a truly precious object and not just some sentimental trinket. Okay, bye. Do you want a fruit? I should keep it for the right time or that special someone who comes along. Ah. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. A small rabbit has left its tracks in the snow. In a... That is beyond the range of Quickthorpe's natural ability. Okay, you can't follow the tracks. What did I miss? I don't think it was anything way up at the, the house. Maybe I do have what I need? I don't remember. All right, well, let's let's do the fun thing then. Oh, oh this way. Let's go get murdered by the ice giant. <laughs> Cuz I'm almost out of time for this episode anyways. So I might have to leave this here. Um every old castle has its gargoyles. So what we're going to do first is we're going to we're going to save the game. And we're going to walk on up to him. I don't feel like talking to anyone or anything right now. Apparently we're not even going to have a chat. And we're dead. <laughs> so that's what happens if you just walk right up to him. The first piece of this puzzle... And the only piece I remember is to take an oil flask and toss you it. Poured oil on me, you idiot! I hate oil. Oops. I then walked up to him. What you then need to do is light the oil on fire, but I don't actually remember with what you use to light the oil on fire um or where you get what you need to do that i feel like there's some matches somewhere that i missed That doesn't do anything. You poured oil on me, you idiot. I hate oil. This is not like the I don't think that's lantern. a good idea. That didn't have any effect. I'd better do something quick. I don't remember what else you do at this point. I don't remember what what it is. It's a red hot chili pepper talisman. It's not the red hot chili peppers. This game doesn't doesn't Sierra you where it's the red hot. Ha ha ha. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do that. We don't have what we need to finish this, and I don't remember where you get it. So I'm going to take a quick look at some of the other screens along the way and see if I see anything that I immediately missed. I'm not sure that I will find anything that I immediately missed, but we're going to take a quick look. Road sign, the broken wagon.
There was the stick. Hmm. What have we here? A lever of some sort? It doesn't seem to operate anything. I should save the pocket space. Can't do anything with that. It's like a, it looks like a lever. It doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Was there more here than the short piece of The rope? old boat has been turned into new from the magic of Cymbeline's love. Well, that's nice. Okay. Did I miss something? Did I miss something at the old, the old house? It is one of the... I must have. Was there something here that I could have taken? I think I know what I might have been able to take. I could snoop around in the cell. Wow, it's like a dungeon down here. A flaming torch makes the cellar look even more like a- A torch could come in handy, but I'm afraid it would just burn my britches. Okay, that is not what I want to take. The staircase is the only entrance and exit to the cellar. Well, well, what have we here? Bunch of useless junk. Okay, I don't think I missed anything here then. And I'm pretty positive I didn't miss anything here. So yeah, I don't know. I will have to figure it out next time though because for now it is way late for me it's all I'm almost getting to 11 I really need to uh, quit and head to bed so yeah when we come back uh, hopefully I will have uh, figured out what it is I missed that is needed to light the ice giant on fire and defeat the ice giant and then I will be able to uh, continue on. Oh, I absolutely am the person who needs the sleep. That's just me. I need the sleep. I, I can't. I can't not. Um, yeah, I don't know what I uh, what I didn't get. Something though. I do feel like I remember some matches but I don't know hold on before I go to bed do we talk to the crow I don't feel like talking to anyone or anything right now he looks like an ordinary crow if you ask me I don't feel like talking to anyone or anything right now oh a statue of a fallen soldier wounded from battle. Hey, oh. that's not fair. I was hiding behind this statue. But why are you hiding behind the statue? He's hiding from me. Well, I'll be. You're a talking bird. What's the matter? You've never seen a talking bird before? That's quite a trick. How do you do it? I had the unfortunate experience of getting on the wrong side of an old witch named Welda. You mean the old lady with all those horrible cats? That's the one. She's morphed me into a crow just because I threw one of her cats into a boiling kettle. Oh! Well, what? you did the right thing. I knew there was something weird about her. Quick, Thor. It's too bad for you. But then I never got the pleasure, if you know what I mean. It would be wise to remove boiling cats from your list of things to do when you're at Welda's. Just the same, it's always a pleasure to meet someone who shares a mutual dislike for cats. Ma, the pleasure was mine. I think you should be running along home now. I'm never going back home. 
My parents are mean and they always beat Yeah, they might have. <laughs> it's for your own good because they love you and are worried about you playing out here in the forest. That's rubbish. It's because they're overqualified alcoholics. That too. That too. I'll bet this is the hunter's little boy. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll bet this is the hunter's little boy. Is there anything that I have that I could give the little boy that he might want, that might help? Some old dry leaves from Welder's house. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do that. That 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 that, that doesn't do anything. I should keep it for the right time or that special. Or that special someone who comes along. Do you want a blue fruit? That doesn't do anything. I should keep it for the right time or that special. He does not. That doesn't Sa -sa -sa, do anything. Sa -sa, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> All right, do we need to talk to the hunter now about having seen his little boy? And he'll be like, oh, thanks. Thanks for having found my, 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 my boy. I thought you could, you could walk a little faster if you wanted. I take it that you're not in the mood for more conversation. I'm a man of action, not words. Yeah, me too. No. Okay, so I don't know what I need to do with the little boy. But we found I've him. I've seen this guy before. You have. So, next time, again, I'll figure more stuff out. But hey, we had a conversation. That was fun. I am going to quit and go to bed. Thank you so much for coming on by and uh, enjoying Quickthorpe with me a little bit. And I uh, hope to see you next time. There will be more of this. I may not play it immediately again next tomorrow, but who are we kidding? I probably will. Um, so take it easy. And when it happens, it happens. And I will see you all then. Have a good one. I have to figure out how to quit this game. Oh. Oh, oh, oh.